Hi, how are you? In today's video, we're gonna go over what I bought for the wraps for the month of November. First up is this tunnel that I got from Amazon. It is massive. I have been watching this for months, waiting for it to go cheaper, and it did on Black Friday, so I scooped it up. It's huge. This is going to go in my playpen when I reset it. Okay, so I actually bought this last month and then forgot about it completely. The Dollar Tree bundle of stuff, but I bought two of these little tiny jars. I just thought they'd make cute forging toys. I don't know if they're gonna work or not. We will see. I bought two of these cube beads because I'm out of the cube kind. These two little pom-pom garlands. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these to decorate in the playpen or the outside of the bin cage. Haven't decided yet but I thought they were cute and for a dollar, there's plenty there to do one of those options, maybe both. And I also have little like twinkle lights. So since the gap between the pom-poms is a reasonable size, I could actually kind of like wrap the lights around. I don't know. I don't know, I just like having options, so we'll see. I also bought containers for some of my food ingredients. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them for that or something else, but I have them. I did try to put my mealworms in one and it was a pain to close. The, this part doesn't stay shut very well. You can kind of see that here, I think. Like it's not latching properly because it's not molded well. So I don't know that this is gonna be very useful because if it doesn't stay shut, it does me absolutely no good. I'm probably gonna wind up honestly throwing them away. And like the lids, these are the lids for these, but look, they don't really fit. If you look at them upside down, you can kind of see that this edge doesn't match up where it's supposed to. It's supposed to be way over here and it's not. And I know I grabbed the right ones. So I think these are just faulty which is frustrating, but there's not anything I can do about that. So at least they were only $3. So that's from last month, I wanted to include it. I'm not gonna show you the candy that I bought for myself because the rats can't eat it. But first thing I got was these baking cups. These are gonna make some super cute forging toys and there's a ton of them. So you'll see these fairly inexpensively in my shop as well. I bought a bunch of napkins. I haven't totally decided how I'm gonna incorporate these, but I wanted to have choices, so I bought a bunch of different colors and varieties. And then the last thing I got are jingle bells, because that seems to be a thing in the South for Christmassy stuff. I'm not really sure why, but it is, so. I thought these were a nice neutral color. There were green ones too, and I really waffled on that, but I decided to go with these instead because I felt like they would go better with the other choices and add another color. So that's what I've got for right now. And as I said, I'll probably make a few things for my rats as well, just cause I do enjoy doing that. And I definitely have enough stuff. So stay tuned for these items to be made into toys and listed in the shop. All right, these items are from Aldi. We have two apple sweet potato baby food. I use these to mix my medications in and my rats absolutely love them. So I have two of those because I needed to replace some. And then I got snack bags because I have started selling a Shunamite based forging mix in my Etsy shop and I wanted some little baggies to put it in. So I got these because the sandwich baggies I was using were way too big. So there we go. So the first few items are these fleece blankets. A lot of people like to use to make hammocks and things for their rats. They're very inexpensive at about $4 a blanket. I don't really like them for hammocks. I'm gonna use them for an upcoming uh, project on my channel. And it'll kind of be a test to see if I want to make this item to sell in my Etsy shop, but it's gonna be a rope net made out of braided fleece. 
So that's what those are for. And it'll be Christmas themed, which is exciting. I just thought those colors went really nicely together. Okay, and then, so these are also for items for in my Etsy shop, although I'm probably gonna make one or two things for my rats as well. But I found these adorable little cardboard boxes, which I can't open with one hand. There we go, just a little like paper cardboard box. I thought these would make really cute forging toys because they'll be like more advanced forging toys since they're harder to open. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do them since they are so hard to open. Maybe I'll make some holes in them that the rats have to like tip them. But I bought this color and I have two of those. And then I bought these. I was kind of going for like neutral gift wintery theme. So that's what those are. I also bought some little teeny tiny paper bags for another forging toy alternative. So that these can be like slightly less expensive options. Because I do like to have some budget friendly toys. Right, these will be a little more expensive. These were gonna be like tippy cup forging toys, kind of like the one on my channel, I'll pop a picture up here. It's made from multiple little Santa cups. We're gonna use these guys instead because I thought they were a really cute wintry color and I love the little trees on them. Just thought they're so cute. So that's what those are for. Let's see, I bought two of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these on the ends of foraging toys or make a garland. I haven't decided yet, but I thought they were really cute and would make a really cute decoration one way or the other. So I got those. And I bought two, so I have options. I thought these looked like peppermints and were so cute, so I grabbed those for toys. And then the last thing from Walmart, just basic red and green straws. I do have a little bit of red and green, but they're slightly different color. These are more muted and I liked that. Mine are almost neon, which I didn't care for. I might still use them, I'm not sure, but I liked these better because I feel like they kind of go with the vibe a little better. So that's what I got from Walmart. My other item that I got, I had to wait till I was done with the nebulizer, is actually from Tamu. I did not actually pay for this. I won it in that Fishland game that everybody talks about. Hang on a second, I need two hands. Okay, it's actually a little shelf. It's called a flower rack and it's not gonna be very big and that's okay. I'll pop a picture of it up here on the screen but my plan is to turn this into sort of a cat tree and make it so that I can like change stuff out on it. That's my plan. And I just, I like to have a couple of things that I can change around in my playpen and I need to do a playpen reset again. It's just that stuff's been there for a while the same way and they get bored. The box for it is new, the wine rack in the back is new, but like I try to move things around for the most part, except for the fountain, it always stays in that spot. So it's time to like change this part up and rotate stuff out and put new stuff in and I like to do that regularly. So I thought this would be good for that. All right, we're going to do PetSmart first been looking for red and green Christmas balls so I could use these on the toys. So these will be used on toys in my shop. And I also got one of these. These are the sausage ones and I've already broken them. Truffle got his already, but I thought we'd give them to Peaches and the CC crew. Let's see what they think. They are still sneezy. Hopefully the next round of medicines will help. Come here, Peaches. Come here. Would you like that? That's for you. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Here, you can have. I have three. You want one? Here we go. Now where is Cookie Crumb? I hear him. Hear him? 
peaches. I don't have baby food yet. What did you do with it? There it is. Okay, we're gonna put these here and you guys can have them in your house, okay? There. There you go. Let me know what you think, Sneezies. Hopefully the next round of medicines will knock those right out because you guys are doing a lot better. Thanks for watching. Bye.